It's been amazing. It's it's been overwhelming, but it's also bittersweet and also really nice to actually meet the team that was involved um, in my critical care at the time needed. Um, I say it's just amazing to reunite with them and get to know them and actually see what they look like and you know to me before they, they were just names I know they were people but now I can put a face to the name. Uh, we found the partner of the patients uh, performing CPR uh, under guidance from the control centre. I got the call initially he didn't know if she was breathing or not um, we very quickly ascertained that she was gasping for breath so I advised him to do CPR as soon as possible, went through all the instructions and he followed them as I told him to, which was brilliant. I, I can't stress enough how important uh, the early application of CPR is. Um, as I've stressed to the partner, that um, despite his um, emotional state, whatever he did would have added to the, the positive outcome that we've seen. Um, as we've discussed, we've had uh, a patient that's come around with no obvious long-term neurological deficit at all and that is testament to the early application of the CPR to keep the heart, the lungs and just as importantly the brain functioning properly. I've been in this ambulance service 20 years and this is probably the only second time in throughout those 20 years that we've actually done a reunion with a, a survivor of, of an incident like today so it's yeah it's really good to meet them both and talk to everybody and it's nice to see how people are doing. As a cardiac arrest lead, it's, you basically have an oversight of the actual arrest itself. You can make sure that things are being done, that the airway's being managed, CPR's being managed, uh, IV access, so we can get all elements. And it's kind of orchestrating the arrest so that it's run as smoothly as it can be, which that day it did, and it's a good outcome, and it's lovely to see her today, and Dan as well. It is important for you to know about CPR because you can literally save somebody's life.